Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavin Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will understand what parameterization is and how data-driven testing is performed in Cucumber. So in our previous video, we have seen like how to write a feature file uh, for the login test scenario. So this is that feature file uh, where we have covered these steps. We have written a simple English um, using Gherkin syntax with feature given with feature scenario given when and then and okay so this is what we have done and suppose this is the login page so which we have already automated as part of you know our previous in our previous video you can refer you can refer uh, my previous uh, you know video on cucumber where we have you know already automated this login scenario now the aim or the purpose of this video is to you know use the parameterization use the parameterization and understand how you know data driven like how we can supply multiple or how we can pass dynamic or variable values to the cucumber scenarios right so these these are the set of you know users and this is the password so we will be actually supplying all those username with this password to this particular you know uh, login page okay and we'll see if the login works or not okay so for that what i can do i can actually um, do little bit of adjustment in this login feature so as in when uh, we know right so this is going to uh, this is the flow and when you come to this when the control comes to this when so i have already uh, you know discuss and told that this given is nothing but the precondition right and the when is the action so in the action when we are entering the username and password so we have to make this you know value dynamic okay like uh, we have to make it as variable so that we can you know uh, get some values from the examples so first of all what we have to do we have to convert this a scenario to scenario outline as in when we are we are going to you know pass dynamic or variable values to the cucumber uh, scenarios cucumber feature file we have to uh, change that scenario to scenario outline and then we have to parameterize it okay how 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 we can parameterize it like here we can add this curly braces angular bracket okay also known as conical you can say angular bracket or conical as you wish and then just uh, put them inside these double quote okay double quote for the username and double quote for the password okay we are making it uh, variable so that we can pass the value whatever we are defining inside the examples so this is how we can parameterize and now here what you have to do like we are going to use the same variable here username we'll put one tab space we will use the password so these are the variables okay inside which uh, underneath these variable we are going to write or, or specify we are going to mention the, the values for these two variables okay so the first value will be the standard user space and then you can give the password like this and again you want to supply you want to pass more username again against which you want to see how the login works whether all those uh, users are like valid users with a given password okay so that is that can be easily performed or that can be easily tested with the help of a parameterization in cucumber so this is the way to use the parameterization okay secret source so what will happen here is like i can also mention this okay so as in when we run this feature file so it is going to run against these set of username and password right 
so the four uh, times this test will be executed all right so with this i can just compile i can run this cucumber feature file and let's see if something is missing or if anything extra we need to add so based on previous you know uh, implementation it is actually taking the username and password and verifying whether the yeah so it is started yeah now here so this is like two scenarios it executed two scenarios as we have to see if it is taking the right set of you know feature file we can change that from the it is taking from the okay test project test project might have two scenarios so let me change it quickly so our project is bdd and the feature path is inside this project okay so src test resources and the feature file all right i will apply and i will run it so of course this is going to throw some error or some missing code so which we have to implement accordingly so it is trying to execute something and it is trying to pass something but our step definition are not able or capable enough to you know hold or receive those you know uh, parameters right whatever values we are passing for the username and password we have to make certain adjustment to this particular you know code so here what we have to do so scenario outline check login is successful with the valid credentials given is this scenario outline scenario outline and undefined scenario okay four scenarios for undefined you can implement missing step with the snippet below so here why it is telling four scenarios because we are passing four username and password username four set of username and password right so here something is missing so if i implement or i change the login step definition a little bit with this you know value here everything is implemented right we are initializing the web driver we are actually uh, getting the url accessing this particular you know uh, site and we are entering the username and password so this is the block where we have to make some slight uh, you know uh, uh, changes right in order to accommodate this uh, parameterization or the data driven uh, testing that is what we are performing here and everything is uh, same we are actually here we are validating whether we are we have put uh, some assertion and if we have navigated to the home page so it will confirm okay this particular you know block of assertion will confirm and then we are you know closing the driver so here in the ac action we have to add we have to receive the arguments okay as in form of like uh, username and password so here what we can do we can just change it to i'll just comment it and i will add whatever it is suggesting okay as to add so it is suggesting that since we are passing a string values right so let us let us actually receive those from the examples okay so this particular you know, method will be receiving those two parameters so inside this annotation when we have a method written so method will be actually so i will be commenting this out as well okay so this is what it is suggesting okay i will put this curly bracket here yeah so this is what it is suggesting so it is uh, data type is like a string so we are passing username and uh, password both are a string and we are receiving those string values right into this so this method is receiving those four set of your username and password right so let me just run my cucumber a test runner so this is that cucumber test runner and it is picking up the feature file from this path so this is the path that i have already you know explained in my previous video you can uh, write the test runner like this and uh, then the step definition is being referred i mean we are referring all the step definitions are written inside this uh, particular you know folder this package and this is going to generate one html report 
okay html report.html will be generated inside the target folder okay so let us run this and see if this is running fine or not let me change the okay okay it looks fine i will run it and now we should be okay four times uh, it should execute don't worry about the socket error so that is known thing we can fix that as well i will upload a video um, uh, with the, like uh, how how to fix that web socket error as in when we get it okay so for now you can concentrate on this result of uh, running class cucumber okay so alt okay let me see why it is not uh, running so console everything is passed we are closing the browser connection got reset outline looks fine looks fine something okay okay you can see right four scenarios four passed okay so it has passed and uh, but somehow um, we are not getting the past percentage here let us see the target folder and i will refresh this file particularly html report and we'll see the result in the web browser okay so you can see the result here it didn't get updated so it didn't get update because it shows the last run was on i mean uh, seven hours ago right so it has not generated this result of running class test has not been generated so there is some thing which we can look upon maybe i will add cap here and dollar so this is the regex maybe there is some issue with the regex but doesn't look like here it is not complaining about the uh, regex rather it says everything is passed right four tests passed only thing is like websocket listener error is there so let me add this implicit or i will remove this maybe and we will check again and also i can add some time out also right so that we will know for sure that it is executing it is asking us to add the throw declaration to this method and let us run this again yeah so you can see all four tests are all are failed okay that's fine so there were four exception and this is that um, the details are there in the stack trace below okay so it is so let us change that string user enter valid string and string some repetition nears index 20 looks like it is not accepting this in the login step definition i will just remove this and we'll see and maybe uh, i will remove it and maybe whatever is the username and password it is going to accept any data type here so let us change that to star dot star and run it again okay again it is failed so let us see user enter valid and uh, you could not create a cucumber expression for this all right so we have to be very specific with the very specific with the data type here i will just change it it was a string earlier 
string string and yeah 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 so what we have to do here is to to provide the username right so here we have to we are uh, receiving the username and password so which we are not defining here right so we have to be defining username and password okay so we are testing against these username and password four set of username and password okay it's fine let us run it again okay looks like it is also but it is failed problem users and the password it is expect okay so let's see how many tests are passed and how many are failed so whatever is the failure right maybe those are the ex uh, expected uh, failures those are the false positive test cases okay as we can see accepted usernames okay so epic said sorry this user has been logged out okay that is fine that is fine that is something um, uh, there in the application right we can't do anything rather we can report this as an error right or we have to unlock this if we are the application admin okay now here uh, coming back to the result we can see four test are out of four three test are passed one is failed okay and this is the result and this is failed because of the because it didn't go to the home page okay so that is expected okay that is expected because it didn't uh, 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 log into the application so it didn't uh, the user didn't uh, you know could not you know navigate it to home page so that is expected that is fair, fair enough okay so i hope i mean i have not edited anything on this video and rather whatever error you could face uh, i have covered all those errors here in this video and let us see let us see the html report as well so i'm gonna open this in the web browser and we'll see so you can you can you can see like 75 percent because out of four one test got failed right so here you can see that result and 75 percent is the past percentage and the last run now is showing two minutes ago okay the duration of the run was 34 second and this is the this is the result overall result okay and this is the examples so which one is failed you can see the logged out user this scenario this particular you know combination is failed and all other three standard user and problem users and this was able to you know log into the system right so this particular you know expected result is have is having some some kind of you know failure which is expected and that is also seen we can notice here we can see here okay cool right isn't it and you can see the cucumber jvm version also on which we are running this you know uh, feature file these step definitions right so i hope uh, i hope uh, you have liked the explanation and learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in next video until then keep learning and thanks for watching